Eh, Siyempre, sobrang grateful. Uh, kumbaga kami lahat dahil istorya to nating ano eh, nating lahat yun. Lahat makaka-relate talaga dito. Walang joke. No, wala ko kayo mag-antay na punchline. Hindi <laughs> ko eh. O sige, joke lang. <laughs> Count out there. Gusto ko marinig yung reaction nyo after hearing you know, We're really going worldwide. You see that? From the North, North America to Middle East to Asia Pacific regions. Ano reaction nyo? Yeah, we're also like sabi nga ni Joris, we're very grateful because of the efforts of course, of uh, all the producers and also the marketing team behind this. And parang we really owe this uh, movie to the people who have helped us make this happen. And also to all the fans of the Hello, Love, Goodbye uh, movie before. And uh, come to think of it, we're, we're parang ang laki-laki ng mga nangyayari ngayon. We didn't, we didn't expect it to be like this. But more than that, we're, we're fulfilled and we're very happy with what's happening. And makikita to ng buong mundo at the same time na hindi malayo dun sa screening date natin dito sa Philippines. So thank you po. Thank you so much for the support everyone. Salamat. I agree with you on that. Kasi dati weeks ang hinihintay. Even months pa. Even hindi. months pa. But now hindi. Halos sabay-sabay. Cap! Since um, day one, we felt the support of, of course, my home network, ABS-CBN, and now with GMA Pictures. And nararamdaman ko lang um, siguro na kapag um, nagtulungan you see, ito yung nangyayari and yung support na yun ang laking bagay sa akin nila there, Kathy and me, Alden, kasi we need that eh, uh, yun ang fuel sa amin, and now that oh, we are showing it not just here, but also internationally um, nakakatuwa kasi story naman talaga nila to and maybe it's time for the world to see yung mga gawang Pinoy, so hopefully tanggapan nila, we're very hopeful for that and uh, yeah, we mga pupuntahan kami ilang screenings um, para kami mismo yung nandun kasama nila. So um, we're just hoping for the best. Thank you, Kat. Then, Kat, I want to hear your ano, reaction after seeing that. Na parang uh, different territories papalabas. Gusto mo yun? Lagi, ne, overwhelmed eh. Overwhelming every time ganito. Parang ano nga bang gusto kong sabihin? Siguro walang iba kong iba. Salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat kay Lord who was making all this possible and um, we remain humble and um, at your service po para sa inyo naman lahat ng Pilipino. Thank you, Lord Kathy. Maraming salamat. Gaya ng sabi ni Kat, let's go! Simulan na natin ang ating uh, uh, video conference. We, we will go first sa ating mga press na kasama overseas. From... TFC Asia and Pacific, we have via Zoom, Annaline Violata. Hi, Annaline. Evening from Down Under, it's Australia. Hi. Hi. Ang question ko ay una kay Catherine at kay Alvin. Uh, congratulations muna sa buong cast at syempre kay Direk um, Kathy dahil nung in-announce pa lang na uh, magkakaroon ng sequel itong on nung nagdaang Hello, Love, Goodbye ay inabangan na yan ang kagawain natin dito sa Australia at sa yan sa mga naging trending na topic dito ng mga kababayan natin. Pero, yung question ko is sa sequel na ito ng Hello, Love, Again Katrina at Alden ano yung qualities ng mga OFW na na-highlight dun sa role ninyo at talaga namang tumatak habang ginagawa ninyo yung humuhuli. At yung question ko kay Direct Cathy Kung magkakaloon ng part 3, alam ko hindi pa na ikapaglabas ang uh, part 2, pero mga chance ba na sa Australia naman gawin at pamagatan ito ng uh, Hello, Love, Down, Anchor. <laughs> si Annalyn, hindi pa ka pinapalabas yung Hello, Love, Anchor. May part 3 nang ini-request. Okay, we go first. Kina Alden and Katrin, yung kanyang question about the qualities ng mga international workers na tumatak sa inyo while portraying your roles? Marami actually, kahit naman din during Hello, Love, Goodbye, actually, mas more of yung struggles ni Joy yung nakita natin doon. But I think at this uh, point of the film, makikita rin natin yung naging hardships ni Ethan in terms of being away from the people that he loves. And I think yung mga qualities talaga ng mga kababayan natin na sa ibang bansa at nagtatrabaho is really the sacrifice and the hard work 
and yung mga pinagdadaanan nila just to give their family a better life, you know. May ganun talagang traits kasi tayo as Filipinos eh. We always uh, get out of our way and um, kalimutan muna kahit hindi man pandat panandalian or pangmatagalan yung sarili natin para sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. And with this film po, makikita nila yon on both characters between Ethan and Joy na yung mga bagay na kailangan nilang isakripisyo is ang tanong ba doon, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth the sacrifice? So, kaya yung mga ayaw ko lang talaga mag-divulge much about what's gonna happen, but it's really more about the lives of the uh, our international workers, the lives of uh, the people who's working away from their families every day. The, the, the things that they have experienced, the things that they have you know, set aside to give their families a better life. Your sacrifices. And yes. Grabe. Thanks, Alden. Kath? Um, ever since we did um, Hello Love, Goodbye, the first part, the main focus really naman talaga was the, um, our OFWs are also known as the international workers. So we, they, we, they created this film to tell their stories, their sacrifices, and all, um, um, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay nila. So with this, siguro, um, nung ginawa namin yung sa Hong Kong, ang dami namin, um, parang naging aware na siya kung paano talaga yung buhay nila. I think it's very different once you experience it firsthand and you meet them, you get to talk to them. So yun yung una. Tapos ngayon na ginawa namin tong sa Canada, iba din yung buhay ng mga nagtatrabaho dito. Tapos I think naging malaking tulog din there. Kathy and the team, sila Ate Carmi, went there ahead of time bago kami to do their research. They interviewed um, different um, um, international workers and then ginawa nila yung inspiration. Actually, ibang scene namin was inspired because of their stories. So, very real. It's very real. So, nakaka- um, amazed kung gaano katatag tayo mga Pilipinas, especially yung mga nagtatry abroad. Iba, iba yung hirap doon. It's physically tiring, it's emotionally challenging. Na kami nga na isang buwan lang doon, medyo, wow, medyo mahirap doon. Ano pa sila na ilang years na nandun. So we have so much respect for them. And hopefully this movie will mirror their lives and magbigyan yung respect na deserve nila. Thank you, Kat. Direct Kathy? Medyo pa-advance ng konti yung tanong ni Annalyn eh. Kung may part 3 ba daw, pwede bang hello, love, down, under? <laughs> Ayoko muna tumalun doon. Dito muna tayo, darling. <laughs> but uh, God willing, I mean, kung ano man ang puntahan natin after nito, basta kung nasa ng Pinoy, pwede po. Ganda. Thank you, Direct Kathy. Annalyn, maraming salamat. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much. Actually, ang dami kong tanong mamaya, Kath, no, regarding doon sa sinabi mong na experience sa mga international workers and Arca Papayans in Canada. Pero mamaya na yun. I'll go first to Steve Angeles of TFC North America. Hi, Steve! Hello well, again, MJ. Hi, Kat. All the direct. Good to see you all again. Um, uh, I just heard you guys were just here last year for a uh, very good girl and um, all the who's here for the film festival. So, I actually wanted to start off with this question is, um, Especially because we're continuing to set all of these uh, box office records and doing this globally, it's just how important is it? Is the global market, the global, the OFW market, all of us Filipinos everywhere in the world, how important is that when we not only set these records in terms of watching the movie, but also we're using them as our settings, we're filming in Canada, we're also the stars, like uh, my friends Mark and Marvin are part of it. Uh, you guys got Kevin Kreider from Bling Empire, so just how much of that helps uh, bring our Philippine cinema globally? And also, secondly, another question I had is, um, ang ganda naman ang uh, panahon for Filipino cinema. I know Hello, Love, Goodbye was number one record holder until this year, and then, you know, that was broken by another star cinema movie, and, you know, this one also has high expectations. If you guys could describe this, um, what a healthy competition and how good is it for Philippine cinema everywhere? All right. Thanks, Steve. Uh, your first question is how big of an impact your global audience in generating the numbers? Who can answer this? Uh, Siguro, Army, Papa, you can answer that. It's very important because diba, para the past two years we've seen yung naging response ng Filipino audience here in the Philippines. 
na sa mga movies na nilalabas natin. We're very, very excited. We're looking forward to see how the Filipinos abroad, our international workers, our international audiences, would also react to this movie. It's very important because first and foremost, it's their story. So from 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 the beginning, from the concept, uh, it's about them. So we want them to be a part of it, not only uh, through the story, but to celebrate with them once the movie comes out in the theaters wherever they are in the world. So that's why it's very important yung milestone natin kanina na nabibridge natin, papaikli natin yung time the, uh, from the showing here in the Philippines to showing it um, in different parts of the world para we, we feel as like one big community from all over the world watching the same movie all together at the same time. So, iba yun, di ba? Ang sarap ng pakiramdam na yun na kahit through a movie lang, we get to be connected. We get to be together at the same time. Sa so, maganda to, mapanood siya ng mga kahit ng non-Filipinos. Yes. Di ba? So that they would understand our culture. Di ba? Uh, thank you, Carby. Yung second question niya is uh, the competition. Direct, Kathy, baka pwede ikaw ang sumagod nito, no? Na parang uh, describe the healthy competition when it comes to box office. Oh, actually, best, uh, isa sa mga best friends ko yung tumalo eh. So, <laughs> I love me, Cruz, uh, Ding Tong and Marian. <laughs> yes, uh, but ever since, no, kami nila Wendy, uh, tama, it's a healthy competition. Kasi, ang nagbe-benefit audience mo eh. Diba? So, paganda, parang ano lang yan, kahit anong business. Pag nagko-contest kayo, gumaganda na gumaganda yung produkto para sa mga consumers. In the same manner, pag pelikula, ganun din. Di contest tayo pagandaan. So, wala siyang masamang epekto. Kasi, uh, ayun, nagbe-benefit yung consumers, yung ating mga manonood. At uh, kami rin naman, buti na hindi ko nag-aaw. Diyan, diyan pa. Thank you, Direk. Steve, maraming salamat. Good night. It's almost 3 a.m. Yeah, Thank you, Steve. Maraming maraming salamat. Now, all the way from United Kingdom, we have MJ Robles. Hi, MJ. 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 Okay, let's go back to MJ later. Uh, let's check uh, your uh, connection. Yeah, MJ, pacheck muna ng connection. We'll get back to you later. Marami salamat. Okay. Uh, balikan natin mamaya si MJ all the way from United Kingdom. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me better? Yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. That's a lot. Ayan, yeah, hello. Ayan, yeah, perfect. Go. Hello. Can you hear me? lang natin. Balikan na lang natin. Okay? Uh, simulan natin yung ating mga questions from our local press naman. They're here. They're very excited for uh, you to share about Hello Love again. Pero bago pala yan, okay. I went to Calgary, right? May nakausap ako mga Pinoy doon. Ang sinabi nila sa akin, what they're most excited is to see how Joy started. Kung paano siya nagsimula sa Canada. Makukwento dito yon, Carmi. Kasi ang kwento sa akin, yung kaibigan ko, nagpapahala daw siya ng snow. Yun, isa sa mga nagsimula niya noon. Carmi, natatawa ko, natatawa ka. Kasi totoo yun. Diba? Yun talaga eh. Tapos na so, after nagkapala ng snow um, sa mga restaurant, sa mga yeah. cafes. Hindi mo ma magugulat ka what our kababayan, yung our, our Filipino international workers go through mm -hmm. when they when they choose to move, to uproot themselves and move to another country. And start again. And start again. From, di ba, parang no matter how big you are from wherever in the world, once you move and and uh, start over again sa another country, back to zero. Tama. So, lahat naman yung kinuwento nila sa amin. So, nakaka-galing mm -hmm. ang tatag talaga nila. Grabe. Okay. Um, let's talk about our roles. Kasi kanina kita ng trailer, pero yung iba doon gusto namin malaman kung ano yung mga inyong mga papel. Uh, Jenica, hello. Ayan. 
Kwento nga tayo ng ating mga roles dito sa Hello Love Again. Go ahead. Ay, kinakabata ko sa'yo dito ko nakaupo. Siguro ako mo unang tanongin. Ayun na ka, ikaw na ka. Ayun na nga. Um, ayan, hello po. Ako po si Jenica. I play the role of baby. Um, born and raised po ako dito in Canada. Half Filipina, half delusional. <laughs> ano? Ano? Half delusional? <laughs> Delulu. Uh, okay, oh, green card holder po ako dito. Ay, okay. ka po. Yes. Ang aim ko po talaga dito nung ginagawa ko to, eh, ma-represent ko po ng mabuti yung ating Delulu girlies na nga nung ako. Wait, bakit Delulu girlies? Can you elaborate? Elaborate? Uh, healthcare assistant na lang po. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, yun, ang papanood po din. Maraming salamat po, Direk Kati. Alright. Siguro, <laughs> ano yan eh, baka spoiler pag in-expound. Uh, <laughs> pag in-expound. Pag in-expound. Maraming salamat. Valerie, what's your role here? Yes, uh, ako naman po dito, I play the role of Jambi. Um, co-worker and um, housemate at friend ni Marie. Hindi ko na siya kilala bilang Joy. Ay. Dahil sa Canada ko na siya nakilala. So, kilala ko na siya as Marie. Marie. Yes. Thanks, Valerie. So, mga kasamahan natin na sa Zoom, ano yung ating mga roles? Jobber, ikaw muna. Ano? Uh, ano? Ano? <laughs> uh, ano? Si, ano? Gip Tolino. Dito. Dito ang Gip. Ah. Doro. Doro ni Joros. Okay. O, ano pa? Ano pa kayo dito? Yun lang? Hindi, <laughs> basta. Basta. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
very joy. Oh. Hindi, ah nakakatuwa kasi hindi naman talaga sila mga artista eh. I mean, Pinoy na artista. Ano ba yung katrabaho kung ganito? Pero marunong sila. They're very natural. They're good at um instructions. They're smart people. And of course, yung dila nila, yun yung kailangan ko, yung tong-tong talaga. Kasi di ba yung mga Pinoy na doon lumaki? Hindi kasi ito. Oo, swang, swang na sila. So, I really love the the two. Um, they're very... Kahit andun sila, Pinoy na Pinoy pa rin. Ang kultura nila. Yeah. Mark, thank you very much. Let's go to Marvin. Marvin, what about Marilyn Medito? Oh, I see Marvin as Marvin. Yourself, as yourself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for me, my album, I were Barry Spanian as well as si John Biren, si Barry, and ayo uh, BR kami, permanent resident. The <laughs> term. And uh, ayun, magkasawa kami ni Mark sa uh, <laughs> Oh! So couple, nakatira, di ba? Thank you, Marvin. Ito naman, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Can you uh, tell us your role here in the movie? Hi. Uh, I play the role of a gentleman named Uno. And he gets in between, but not intentionally, between the two, uh, Ethan and Marie. And I also just know her as Marie as well, so um, we'll see what happens. But in America, we say three's a crowd, so maybe. <laughs> oh, Kevin, how does it feel working with Katrin and Adam? Oh, it's, it's really an honor to um, work with uh, both uh, Catherine and um, Alden because great talent. I mean, it's the first time I've worked with uh, Filipino talent uh, besides Mark and Marvin, um, but it's an honor to be a part of this whole movie and um, the Filipino pride for this uh -huh. movie and love that it, it has. It's it's just an honor to be a part of it, and they're amazing actors to work with. Uh, they made me feel very welcome, and they did everything to make me feel at ease and welcome while working with them. Is this your first time to work with a Filipino production? Yeah, this is the first time working. How with is it? It's awesome. I mean, it's it's funny. Uh, it's fun. Like that's the thing in, in America. Everything feels a little bit more like uh, just uh, ends. But there's like a ease and joy and familiarity working with uh, a Filipino production company. Yeah, and I, I know you're friends with a lot of Filipino celebrities as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one thing is, uh, every time I hang out or work on a Filipino set, I uh, it seems like I gain a little bit of weight. Why? <laughs> Food and uh, hollow, hollow. I can't say no. So it's just that I always gain a little weight every time I work or visit the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Kat, how's it working with Kevin? 